Hello and welcome to draft one of the 3D, the new 3D plans for the Champion 2008 T-LUD gasifier cook stove. My name is Simon Anderson. I uh, came up with all these drawings based on the old um, plans that uh, were prepared by James Schoner and my father in the PDF version. Here you see an x-ray view of the isometric and uh, we'll go into that a little bit later but I'm just going to narrate through this thing as it moves along. Um, as you can see, it just kind of moves about into the for next uh, uh, views of everything. That was just a shot of the underside. may even not be necessary. There's a little shot of the exploded view and labels. And as you'll see here, it moves around to the appropriate views for individual parts. Of course, this video can be paused at any time by the viewer if you want to sit and read but for the sake of file size we're just kind of zooming through here uh, but as you can see uh, it offers numeric dimensions uh, in relation to the pictures and then a, uh, a short blurb that was actually taken uh, the info from the old document uh, the PDF uh, as you can see actually at the end it references the particular section of the document uh, that refers to that particular part that it's stopped on. This one here is one of the more complicated shots. Uh, it was a little difficult to demonstrate that the spacers are actually exploded out from the inner walls. Uh, it makes mention of that in the paragraph, but as you can see there are dotted lines to kind of guide the viewer to show them how they line up. Uh, also to be included later are the flat layout views of the cylinders. Uh, kind of like the um, the way it's shown in the Pake OK document. Um, not yet completed, but easily done now that uh, I have all this base information here. Um, of course, all these images and uh, dimensions, any of these can be manipulated or reused for other documents like uh, websites, other manuals, or PowerPoint presentations, or even videos. Um, it's just a matter of capturing them and uh, saving them. Again, no problem since uh, we have all this base right here. Um, you've basically seen most of it as um, it goes back to the isometric, so now it'll dwell a little bit longer on that x-ray that you saw earlier. Um, I think this will be very beneficial when it comes to uh, adding the assembly parts. Also, you'll notice in this um, video, this is uh, strictly the manufacturing of individual parts. I haven't gotten into the actual assembly of the uh, product but again a real simple um, blurb and some labels ought to handle that just fine so hopefully uh, you could see in that x-ray view how it might be beneficial when we're going into that um, any omissions or additions or revisions of this um, are definitely possible just pending on the uh, request of Paul Anderson so if any of you uh, out there see this and request such revisions to uh, go through him and we'll see that it gets done. 